Ugh, I have so many pictures. But I need all of them. I mean, there's Instagram gold in here. What's up, guys? I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in this episode of DIY in 5, we've updated our list of tips and tricks to get your Android storage under control. Don't forget to subscribe to check out our other upcoming Android tips. If you haven't seen our other video on managing Android storage, that might be a good place to start. You'll get some basic tips and tricks to clean up that phone that's just overloaded with your latest snaps, photos you don't remember taking, and all the other goodness that comes with a phone that's getting older. Newer versions of Android come with a slick tool that let you see all those apps, downloads, and whatnot clogging up your favorite phone. Just tap on your settings screen and then hit storage. From here, you can remove those things that you really don't need anymore. Bye bye Vine. If you're an old school Windows user, this next tip might feel familiar. The first time I ran a storage visualizer, it looked just like a Windows defragmenter. We've downloaded the disk usage app from the Google Store here and used it to scan our phone. It'll give you a nice visual representation of which folders and files are taking up the most space. Sometimes you'll find even after you delete old apps or programs, they've left a bunch of extra data that's just sitting there taking up space. With a visualizer like this, you can find all those annoying little files and get rid of them for good. Odds are pretty good if you're an Android user, you also happen to be a Samsung person. That is, if you didn't get kaboomed by the Note 7. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. For those of you rocking a Samsung newer than the Galaxy S6 and Note 5, Samsung has been putting a handy little app in there which can actually help clean up storage hogs. Simply pull down on the notification shade and click on the gear icon. Once you're in settings, scroll down until you see Smart Manager and tap on it. Here you'll see options for a few things, but quite honestly, the storage option is really the only useful option here. After you've tapped it, your phone will take a minute to evaluate your storage. You'll be presented with your storage in a few different formats used and user data, which are similar to the Android storage tool we've already mentioned. The interesting part is the unnecessary data, all those little bits of cache data, advertisements and whatnot that get stuck on your phone. Simply hit the delete button and get rid of them for good. Thanks, Samsung. Finally, let's talk entertainment. If you're into YouTube, Spotify, Sling, Netflix, or the thousands of other streaming apps out there, then this is for you. The days of lugging around a backpack full of DVDs and CDs are over. Oh, thank God, I brought Dumb and Dumber, not Dumb and Dumber, -er. All of your movies, music, and books can be streamed right to your phone. I love the future. Did you realize a single HD movie can take up four to five gigs of space? Yeah, I don't even wanna think about how much storage space all my Game of Thrones episodes take up. You may be thinking, that's great and all, but what if I actually want to go to Croatia and see King's Landing in person? There's no way my international data plan will support that. Well, my Android loving friends, that's where our little friend, the micro SD comes in. Many of the streaming services like Spotify, Netflix, Google Play, and others actually let us save files to a micro SD card. Now we can keep that internal storage free so that I can document all the real life locations of Westeros. So what are your biggest storage hogs? Let us know in the comments below. If you're a Pixel person and you want to see some cool Google Pixel camera tips, check out this video here. Hashtag Android for life. Trisha Hirschberger, 